Hi, this is Emily Azlanian with TV Insider, and I'm sitting here with the cast of Outlander. Hey! hey. So, Sam and Katrina, what are Jamie and Claire up to? Oh, you know, they're, they're uh, making a home. Claire's doing some awesome cooking. She's a, very, she's a terrible cook. This is, <laughs> it's not in the it's books, not, no, it's not. but it's something we like to play. That Sam is. has decided that Claire is a terrible cook, so every time she hands him food, he just kind of goes. <laughs> yes, yes, look out um, for those details. Yeah. This is like a really nice, I think the couple are probably more settled and more um, together, and their union has probably not been as strong as it is this season, in prior seasons. But so... It was quite nice to sort of, you know, enjoy them being together without all of the, the kind of external forces pulling them apart right. and, and that kind of stuff. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and they're, they're older and they've experienced a lot. And um, it's something that they've always been fighting for every season to, to be together and to, to build a home. So this is that opportunity for them. They do get to settle down and build Fraser's Ridge, yeah. which is nice. It has to be great to be stationary in one place, relatively stationary yeah. for some um, time. You know, Jamie built it. Not too good with the old architecture planning. <laughs> he forgot to do a separate bedroom. Uh, no oh, toilets. Yeah, no to well, the toilet's outside, <laughs> but yeah. No but indoor it, plumbing. No indoor plumbing. But, you know, over the season, it really does grow into this, you know, thriving settlement. And Sophie and Richard, what's on deck for Brie and Roger's budding romance? Are we yeah. going to see it bud? Well, you might see some, you might see some budding. I think we're trying to... Uh, <laughs> Trying to make a long Sounds distance. <laughs> I'm sure we want to see anyone's bud. <laughs> Budding with a D. Yes. <laughs> there may be some blossoming of a relationship at some point when you find them in season four trying to make a long distance relationship work, which isn't very easy in the 60s. Communication's not quite what it is today. Okay. You know, there's no WhatsApp. There's no WhatsApp. There's no Skype. It's, uh, it's a weekly phone call on a Sunday and then even then. I think the, the, the distance, the separation takes its toll. Uh, on them quite heavily. It's sort of the opposite of what you've got with Jamie and Claire as well, as Kat was saying. Jamie and Claire now are very settled and those sort of external forces have, for the time being, calmed down, whereas with Brie and Roger, I think they are very much torn apart as much as you kind of see them together in the beginning. Mm. Always. Are we going to see Brianna in some new environments, perhaps? Potentially. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. <laughs> so, what, some different, different time. I mean, she's, she's in a car at one point. That's true. Um, at an airport. Festival. Festival. You guys have added some new cast members, including a very special Rollo. character, <laughs> Rollo. What was that like shooting, having a dog on set regularly? <laughs> it's not the dog per se. It's... Um, <laughs> it's, it's more how it was trained, I think, or, or not, not trained. Not. You know, you're doing a scene or you're trying to do a scene and either there's a dog trainer running alongside of you, falling into trees, kind of squeaking a toy or trying to hide a squeaky toy in your costumes. It yeah. doesn't yeah. help the concentration at the, the best the dog, of times. The dog really does wander around. So you, you can be doing a scene and it just every take is completely different. And you're like, where is that damn dog? <laughs> just walking yeah. in the background just, of scenes. Or, yeah, yeah like you'll yeah. just come in or walk around or sometimes his trainer will just walk through the scene as you're doing it too. Yeah. Yeah. Claire and Jamie are doing a lot of running in the trailer from what in I the saw. Treadmill? What? Uh, oh, not the trailer, like through the sorry. woods. Yeah, in the yeah. trailer. Not treadmills, not yet. No. That would be interesting. He should though. have invented one, don't you think? You both have run marathons this year. We did. Yeah. Do, do you did train too. together at all for those kinds of no. scenes? Who's the better runner? Him. For sure, uh, 100%. he's got a better time too. Oh my god! Like no, he's <laughs> he's like a professional, and I did one to say I've done it, and it'll probably never happen again. But he did two within the space of what a month. A month, yeah. But didn't you say you were gonna do another one straight after? You're like, I loved it, and I'm gonna do another. And I have not run since. <laughs> so. Well, so next season, I'm sure there will be more running. Whereas him, after his marathon, he was just like, Oh, no, I'm fine. <laughs> Yeah. I'll do it again. <laughs> Bounces right I'm just back. Just gonna go for a run at lunch. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's probably yeah. alcohol that just covered up. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for coming by. Outlander starts on November fourth on Stars. Check it out.